What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. Get with this. In today's reaction video, I'm gonna be checking something out for the very first time, and I'm super excited about it because I've been hearing this band's name a lot lately, both in the YouTube comments and on our Discord server that I share with my buddy Chase Carnison, who I'm sure most of you know. And he, as well as a lot of our other friends on Discord, have been telling me how good this band is, and I know they've listened to him a lot and they like him, and I trust all you guys. I'm sure if you think this rocks, I'm probably gonna dig it too. And I don't know terribly much about this band. I know they're another rock band from Japan. And if I'm remembering right, I think somebody said that the singer for this band is also the singer for Unlucky Morpheus, which is another band I've yet to check out, but I will. But I'm fired up, man. Let's just jump right into this. I will link this original video in the description below. And today, for the very first time, I'm going to be checking out Doll's Box with the music video for their song, Shout Down. Let's go. All right. Oh, listen to that face work. Damn. <laughs> uh, a lot more energy than I was expecting. Um... Uh, I'm still trying to process. Uh, this is awesome, man. Like that just energy right out of the gate, man. Super killer, super driving. Bass tone is great. And not only is the tone great, the work that's going on is impeccable so far. And somebody might have told me this, but I forgot that this was a all female group. So I'm digging this. Let's keep going. Oh, that was a good spot to stop because so far in this video, the shots have been really quick and I haven't really been getting a lot of good line of sight on the instruments, but I have picked a couple out. Uh, let's start at the guitars. I haven't seen the rig in the background, um, but what it looks like is going on is there's a digital amp profiler and a cabinet, a speaker cabinet. And digital amp prof prof profilers, <laughs> digital amp profilers are the digital amps we talk about sometimes. They basically can replicate the sound of any cabinet, amp, effect, anything like that, all in that one little unit. And a lot of the times when bands run them live, they run them straight to their in-ears so there's no sound on the stage. But you could also run it through a speaker cabinet like that. And guitar-wise, she is using a PRS Custom 24. And the 24 in that custom number means... 24 frets on the neck of the guitar. They also make 22s as well. The PRS Custom 24 is like the flagship model for PRS. So most people, when they hear Fender, they think Stratocaster, stuff like that. That's that model for PRS. That was the first model they put out in the mid 80s. 
Uh, PRS stands for Paul Reed Smith, who's the luthier that started PRS in Maryland. I believe it was 1985. And he started the company with the help of Ted McCarty, who is the ex-president of Gibson Guitars. And the funniest thing about that is when PRS started making single cutaways, which is the body style of the guitar. I'll try and throw an image up so you know what I'm talking about. Gibson sued him. Gibson sues everybody. We've talked about that because they said that the guitar looked too much like a Les Paul. Um, Gibson won at first. Eventually, at the Court of Appeals, it got overturned. And PRS is still making the single cutaway models. We'll come back to more gear later. What a cool shot. <laughs> that whole sequence was awesome. Okay, so a lot of times in music when a guitar solo comes up, uh, usually the rest of the mix will kind of back off a little bit to let that guitar solo shine. That was going crazy the whole time. Just wall of sound coming at you the whole time. Like nothing let up in that. Everybody else was still going crazy. Tonality wise, this is wild and I got to throw a little shout out there. That tone on the keyboards right before that solo really reminded me of Horse the Band for anybody that's into that man. Um, speaking of the keyboard player, um, both keyboards she's using look like Roland's. The one on the top is definitely a Roland Gaia, which is an analog synthesizer. Um, they're really good. They've got like an old school feel to them and they've got really good tones, but they're also kind of modern and relatively inexpensive. Um, the model on the bottom of that, I couldn't pick out what that was. I'll try and look it up. And drum wise, we've got a Tama drum kit, which is a Japanese company. And I haven't got a great shot at the symbols, but I did see a K on one of the symbols, which is the K custom from Zildjian. And we've talked about Zildjian a ton. Zildjian is the biggest brand of symbol manufacturers in the world and one of the oldest musical manufacturing companies in the entire world. They've been around since the 1600s. Um, let's go a little more because I still need time to figure out something. I don't think I'm going to get it though. Oh. I'm going to go into that break again because it was super sick. And this is the last time I'm going to pause because I have to admit defeat. This has happened before on this channel, but not often. No idea what kind of bass guitar that is. Um, I can't. The headstock looks vaguely familiar, but there are a lot of headstocks that look like that. The body looks like the style of like a Fender jazz bass, but I am not confident on what that is. If I had to guess because this is a Japanese band. This is gonna be a Japanese custom company that I'm not familiar with, which is cool because when I edit this video, I'm gonna learn something new and that's super fun. Um, that little breakdown in the second half, of that chorus is sick. We're gonna lead off there and finish this off. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> oh, that little ending was sick. I'm going to have to give this another watch right away. Just to hear all that in and take it all in again, man. That was that was really good. A lot going on. Let's go talk some more about it. That was awesome, man. And I will say one thing, Japan is cranking out some awesome f***ing bands right now, man. It's it's crazy. Like, everything that I've heard that's coming out of Japan right now has been awesome. And it kind of has a signature sound to it. But even though it's that same kind of sound, it's just a regional thing. It's not like these bands are ripping each other off and all sound the same because every band has a distinct vibe to them. But I really dug this. The musicianship going on is absolutely killer. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. And... I'm getting the vibe that this has got to be some kind of like super group or, you know, there's no way that the other band members, aside from the vocalist, haven't been in other notable bands before because everybody in this band is too good to be a first time band member. So I got some stuff to look up because I'm really curious to know more about this band. And also, like I said, I got to find out what kind of bass that is. I'm not familiar. I have to admit defeat on that one, but that's cool because I get to learn something new. So. I can't wait to check out more music from this band, man. There was just, it was awesome. It was awesome. The energy was awesome. The musicianship was awesome. Cannot wait to hear more. Thank you, everybody that recommended this. Thank you, Discord. Thank you, Chase. I know how much you've been talking about this band. I'm glad I finally checked it out. And if this is your first time watching, feel free to click subscribe because I release new videos all the time. And if you turn those alerts on, you'll be notified the second new stuff comes out. If you liked this video, I would greatly appreciate the like as it does help the channel. But if you disliked it, it's not a big deal, man. Thank you for being here this time. You're free to click dislike and move on. I'm also on a ton of different social media. I even have that Discord server that I was talking about that I share with Chase. I stream on Twitch all the time and I'll put the links to all that in the description below. My handle on everything social media related is at TankTheTech. Thank you so much once again for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.